my channel my name's Katie I hope you are doing well today's video is going to be the long-awaited London Fashion Week look through the street style looks unfortunately <laughs> I could not go because of storm uh, I can't remember what the name was anyway there was a storm we had three storms in like a matter of days and unfortunately I couldn't go and um that's it really but i do hope to go to the one in september so fingers crossed for that but anyway um i am going to do exactly the same as what i've done with the other um the other fashion street styles and i am literally on vogue and this is the best street style from london fashion week you can see that there go on there you go um and i am literally just going to go through it with you so let's go through it so basically again this is uh, from the photographer Phil O he is renowned for his street style and I'm just literally going to go through all of these this isn't it is it nope yes it is yes it is sorry I do apologize okay then so let's just keep rolling now remember what i said about orange and um bright colors over the last two um copenhagen and new york fashion week i still think that that is going to happen i think we're also going to see uh, like a lot of acidic colors so you're going to get your orange yeah your tangerine orange your uh, cerise pink your kelly green shocking electric blues neon yellows and things like that. i think we're going to see a lot of that so this is what i'm kind of predicting for the autumn winter sort of looks just through what people are actually wearing and i just love i love looking at what people are wearing as well um this lady here she's got all of those colors i've literally just said and she's literally tried to um I don't know not neutralize it but kind of calm it down a little bit with the tan jacket and the uh, bag there as well that matches i think that's a really good combination actually because it kind of just pulls everything back instead of it being too um i want to say children's entertainer at least she because she's added the tan leather jacket the black shoes and the bag i think she's kind of brought it back to the fashion realm as opposed to um children's entertainer orange bag and as you can see there's little spats of orange everywhere you look um on here now this lady here she is very very classy she's got a lovely puffy bag and she's literally just got on her and um, is it a I think it's a pullover like turtleneck pullover and some really nice crop trousers all in black one color i think that's also something as well if you're stuck and you think to yourself oh i've got to go out today but i really don't know what to wear grab something that is every like that is one color even if it's different tones of that color so just think oh do you know what i'm just gonna go with green trousers a green top green bag green shoes green socks something like that as long as it's all the same kind of color family it's a monochrome look and sometimes you know those outfits just work out to be the best and they're kind of the outfits that people don't really think about wearing just like a full mono monochrome look i love it so here we go oh there's some more um i'd say i love the way that this photographer takes his photographs because you've got the red bus in the background which you can't really go wrong when you're in London there's always a red bus somewhere but you've you've got the guy on the phone he's got red in his coat he's got red hat on it just picks up the red and then the red on the barriers in the background I love that and here we've got um, a girl she's got a lovely furry sort of like Russian hat on and um, what's she got here just a red 
a red shirt and a, a trench coat. See, trenches, I think, is definitely the way to go. These two lovely ladies are amazing. That yellow coat is something else. And there you go, look, she's got orange, um, an orange skirt on as well. And then the other girl, her outfit is predominantly blue, I would say. I love that though, that's really cool. And again, he's taken the picture outside the yellow building. So I really do. Sometimes you can look at your, the outer, you know, your surroundings and kind of get inspiration from that as well. That's a fab bag. I love that. Love that quilted jacket. That's amazing. I've got something very similar to that that I picked up from the charity shop. So don't forget, you can still go to the charity shops, thrift shops and find these bits and pieces. Orange leather trench looks amazing i think it's leather or is it could be velvet actually i think it's velvet with leather on the sleeves it's a mixture of the two but that's amazing and i love that bag it looks like a, a fendi bag that's amazing the 1980s are back looks like he's got a shell suit on and this lady looks very warm in her blue puffer jacket or puff a coat really but see what I mean about the pictures you've got the bike in the background you've got her red dress and then the red photo um, photo phone um, telephone box love it just his attention to detail is fabulous this orange flight jacket that is amazing I'm on the lookout for a leather flight jacket in the charity shops but whether or not i find one this is actually quite similar to the outfit i'm wearing right now i've got like a little crop jumper on and my um striped wide leg trousers and a pair of trainers um and my this amazing collar i love it so much um but yeah so it's a bit similar to that so you could definitely still find these outfits in the charity shop for sure definitely and then this amazing orange bomber jacket with like the multicolored sort of chest area brilliant oversized lots of oversized things i actually prefer sorry to the girl in the picture but i actually prefer the girl in the background who's taking the picture on the phone those loafers i love she's got the black and white loafers on she's got like a neutral trouser and then that pop of electric blue in the jacket i love that to me i actually think that outfit is better than the the one that is actually the focus of um of the photo <laughs> now this is something i'd love to wear she looks amazing lots of fun lots of fun and now we're going into kind of like the evening i love these boots these boots are fantastic here we've got a little bit of dark academia going on and then we've got the gucci north face uh, bomber jacket that's really cool this to me is typifies street style i think these three people here they look amazing but they i think that is street style personified i think it's amazing and this guy's scarf <gasps> look at this scarf it is literally a chain of like fur this is very very easy to recreate all you'd have to do is to create like a tube of like if you had fur fabric i mean it, it's a pain to work with but if you had fur fabric and or a teddy fabric make it into a tube and sew it in and then you would literally just have to sew it that way and make a chain that would look absolutely amazing and then this other the person next to him or her is it a lady i think it's a lady actually i can't quite tell it's a very weird picture because the head's cut off she's got a mask on and glasses so i can't really tell but the person next to them has got like ties loads of different ties on on her coat and the earrings and the that's amazing i love that so that's just a little bit from london street style as i say i would love to have been there and, and gone myself 
but unfortunately the weather had other plans for me so next time i will be going in september i think it's the 16th of september it starts so london fashion week will be up and running again then so i will be able to do that so thank you so much for watching just a little bit of a an update on london fashion week uh i think is it i can't remember if it's paris or milan i think it's paris fashion week i'd have to double check but anyway thank you so much for watching you look after yourselves you look after everybody else remember the world is your catwalk i'll see you on the next one have a great day. Bye.